Hey there, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for joining me here on the Zinnias YouTube channel where we're gonna continue our collaboration. What we've been doing is here on this channel, we've been setting up our digital planner using different themes, but for this month, what we're going to do is set up a monthly overview page. This is just one page that's gonna help us set up to be more productive, focus on our goals, and also find a cool quote or something to help really inspire you this week. Now, after this video, what you can do is head over to my YouTube channel Channel, which is youtube.com slash men who bullet and we'll be creating a very similar theme inside of our traditional bullet journal so let's go ahead and get started so I've already created my monthly March overview notebook here I'll tap on new page and for this one I'm going to use a doc grid to set this up but you can choose whatever you'd like to get your page started recently inside of my digital journals I've actually been sketching out a general layout of what I want to do for my page before I start laying things out. It's really easy to get overwhelmed with all the amazing content inside of Zinnia. So I think having a blueprint is a really cool way to start. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a space here for my month, maybe create a cool banner for it or something like that. I also want to track some of my goals this month, uh, just big things that I want to try to accomplish as well as identify some events and special dates that might be coming up as well. Leaving plenty of room for notes is going to be really important. And I actually like to start each month month with a quote. Sometimes you're just feeling a certain way, you need some motivation, and this is a really great way to do it. And since we already have this double page spread, we'll also create a quick weekly over on the right hand side to get the month kicked off right. Now that we have a great footprint, what I'm going to do is just erase all of this. I'll just use the lasso tool here and select everything and delete it. And now we can go in to start adding the elements to the page. So before I jump into the template that I'm actually going to use for this weekly, what I love about Zinnia is the search feature where you can just easily look for something like a banner and add it right to your page. But sometimes you wanna get things up and running really quickly. And I actually have a great template that I designed that was a part of my collection from last year that I think will work perfectly for this. So let's go into templates and let's go into monthly overview and you'll see these two right here these are both my designs very proud of them of different ways that you can approach the monthly so the idea that i had was to use this one here and it has all of those features already built into it there's a space at the top for your header it also has a space for goals important dates and also a space for that monthly quote now for the other side we're going to keep it very minimalistic and easy going and there's another weekly overview templates that exist inside of zinnia that you can easily choose from and since we're going with with mostly lines and things like that. I'm going to pick this other one, which just happens to also be from my collection inside of here for that right-hand side. Because the overall template is pretty basic, not in a bad way, just in a good way, I created these to be able to add a lot more fun to them and add your own style, which have been also amazing to see on Instagram and through other people's spreads too. So for this one, I'm gonna add a really fun March header. And instead of using my own handwriting, <laughs> I'm going to use this art artistic lettering underneath the lettering category. Now the way that I like to work inside of Zinnia is I like to pick all of my elements first and tap on each one of them to spell out whatever I need or the numbers. And then what I like to do is select all of them and then you can easily resize them and that way you don't have to worry about trying to match those sizes again in the future. The hard part though is sometimes they don't always work out perfectly, right? So you might start with what you think is gonna be small enough, but then I just like to break them apart a little bit resize them in here and then go ahead and just get them right into the spot where I need them. So as you can see here, this is a little bit too big. So I'll go ahead and just space them all out appropriately and then I'll just resize them and get them into my spot. Now that we have our March header inside of here, what I wanna do next is add a little bit of extra fun to the banner here. So what I'm going to do is actually color in some of the banner. I'm gonna go into the drawing tool here, tap on the paint pen, and then let's go ahead and use the color selector here to grab this color off of the R. I like to use the color selector here to make sure I'm getting the right colors for what I'm doing, especially if you're trying to make things match. It's super fun. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly just color right over top of the space that I want, and I'm not going to be too precise about it. The reason is we're gonna go back in with the eraser tool and get rid of anything that's overlapping. But instead of spending a lot of time trying to get this exactly perfect on here, I'm just gonna go over it quickly. Now what I'll do is select both of these and then in the bottom center of your screen, you'll see that we can move these layers up and down and we're going to go ahead and tap that down until it falls below the outline of that banner. Now, like I said, I'll go back into our drawing tool and select the eraser and I'm just gonna go ahead and erase around the outer edge of this.
All right, I think that's looking good. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back into my drawing tool here, tap on the technical pen, and I'm just gonna add some diagonal lines inside of here underneath the part of the ribbon that's kind of folded under like this. Gives a little bit of extra dimension. Now that we have our left side in a relatively good spot, I want to go ahead and add in the numbers over on the right hand side. So to do that, I'm just going to use the search bar here and just type in artist since it's from the same collection as the lettering. You could also find this through the navigation in the category, but I thought I would just do this real quick since we're already here. And then I'm just gonna tap on each one of these numbers to add them right to my planner here, one through seven. A lasso, bring them all together. I'm just gonna move them over here to the right-hand side and we'll come back to those in just a minute. But I wanna add some extra cool fun stuff to the page. Because we have lines in the template here and also a lot of prevalent lines inside of our lettering and our numbers, let's go ahead and look up some geometric shapes. I think that would add a lot of fun to the page. And what we can do is select from some of these geometric ones here, and then we'll go ahead and use the color picker to make them match the rest of what's going on. So let's go ahead. These look really cool. I think they'll add some fun to the page. I'll go ahead and hold down to get that lasso tool for all of these elements here. And then I'm going to go ahead into the bottom right, you'll see the overlapping colors. If I tap on those, I can use the color picker and I'm gonna go ahead and pick this color off of the M here and go ahead and just size these to fit them onto the page and see how they'll look. I'm not going for anything specific. I just think having a really cool organic looking page using geometric shapes is kind of fun. Now that we have those in place, I was going to hand letter something myself, but then I just remembered that there's some amazing quotes that exist right inside of Zinnia. So let's go ahead and open up the studio and I'm gonna tap inside of the search bar and just type in quote. And a bunch of these are gonna pop up for us to use. So just take a look through here, see what works for you, what's resonating with you. And for me, I think mindset is everything. As I'm thinking about taking on work, and taking on home and taking on everything else that's going on, the way in which you think about what's happening is really important. So this is gonna be my mantra, my quote for the month, mindset is everything. So let's go ahead and just edit this up just a little bit. What's really cool about templates inside of Zinnia is that you can ungroup the template. So for instance, I want to remove where it says monthly quotes. I want to keep everything else. I just want to get rid of that. So I'm going to go ahead and ungroup this template and just delete that here. Now what I can do is go back and select everything that's on here, except for what I don't want to lock down and group that and lock that back together. So things aren't moving as I'm using the page. Instead of trying to unselect and reselect things, I'm just gonna move the quote over to the right-hand side for a second, and then I'm going to go ahead and lasso the left-hand side and lock that down. All right, now that I have that, I'm gonna bring that back over to the left-hand side inside that quote space there. And now we can focus over on the right-hand side and just setting up our week. The first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and lock down the side of the template. That way I can hold down that lasso tool and select all of the numbers without selecting everything else on the page. And then what I'm gonna do is just pull all of these out. Because this template already has the days of the week, I'm just going to use the space underneath this horizontal line to put the number dates. Zinnia makes it so easy to take elements from the library and from the studio here to add them to your page to make something look really cool and designed. If you're not feeling super confident in your design ability, let me tell you, just adding colors or shapes can make a world of a difference. I'm relatively basic with my pages. You've seen a lot of the things that I've done as a part of my spreads, but I do like to have fun inside of these. I like them to be functional, but I also like them to be fun. And because of all of the and because of all of the great content that's already in here, it makes it really fun and easy to search for things, but also to add little pops of flair and color inside of your pages. So I'm going to go back and select some more of these geometric shapes. And now this time I'm gonna pull the color off of the R. I just wanna spread out all these colors all over the place. And I'm just gonna resize them on the page until they look good. Sometimes just grabbing a color, grabbing a shape, moving it around, changing its size can make such a big difference. You can rotate them as well to make them look different on the page. And I'm gonna line this last one up here. And here we have it. So this is gonna be my March overview page. I absolutely love creating these here inside of the Zinnia app. Just everything is here that you need. I love having these templates so you can easily grab and get started so quickly and just start being productive and really focusing on what you have to do if you're not the type of person that likes to custom create these. But as you saw, we can do whatever we want. You can break apart those templates. You can add in your own designs. It's one of my favorite things ever actually to see the posts from other people who are using 
using these templates and adding their own spins to them. So make sure that you have fun while you're creating this. Don't forget to also head back over to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash men who bullet to set this up inside of a traditional bullet journal. Both of these just inspire each other, digital, traditional, it doesn't matter where you're doing your work, it's just so much fun. Zinnia just makes it a little bit more fun. We'll be doing more of these videos coming up, so make sure to check them out again. It was great having you here today, and we'll talk to you very soon. See ya.